Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on um, the IS200. Um, so far we've done a full service, so oil, plugs, coolant, and it's just had a full set of brakes front and back. Um, but today we're starting with the modifications. So um, I didn't film any of the servicing, um, just because it's it's just basic stuff. Um, uh, but we're, we're going to be putting an exhaust on it today. So I've just had a quick look underneath. We've jacked up the back of the car now. Uh, just had a quick look underneath and it doesn't look too rusty, which is good. Um, obviously, <clears throat> it might be a little bit tight and whatever. Um, so the plan is to just basically undo it um, from sort of the center section of the car. Um, the exhaust comes in three sections. Um, so we're gonna try and undo it from the center section and then drop the exhaust. Um, we're only replacing the center section back to the back box. Um, so, we're going to try and drop that. If it does fight us, uh, the plan is to just take it off from the engine, drop the entire exhaust just so we can get it out on the side of the car um, just to get a breaker bar or a gun on it a little bit easier. So this is what we're replacing it with. It's a 2.5 inch um, Jap Speed exhaust and it's got a 4 inch back box on it with a muffler in it but that seems to come out quite easy so we'll probably be removing it. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking. So at this centre section, and this is where we're removing it from, it's just after the cat. Um, it basically, there's um, a nut and a bolt on it, which is nice, uh, it means we can spin both sides. Uh, the nut has a captive nut, so we're going to take that off first, and then we're going to basically undo it, um, just by putting a spanner on sort of this side of the f uh, flange, and then a ratchet on the other side obviously and just spinning them at the same time to get them off. So I've removed the two bolts off the midsection of the exhaust. Um, there are two 16mm bolts, uh, no, 17mm bolts. So you use a 17mm uh, ratchet and a 17mm spanner and just held one on one side and span the other on the other side. Um, and it came off actually pretty easy. As I said before, there was a captive nut, so remove that. And then you can remove the inner nut. So I was quite surprised at how easy they came off. Um, I've just removed the oxygen sensor, which is a 22 mil spanner, or in our case, we used a 22 um, mil oxygen sensor uh, socket, um, which is an open-sided socket. So um, yeah, now we're just gonna try and remove the back section. We need to remove some exhaust hangers. They look pretty um, pretty stiff, so we're gonna spray some WD-40 on them, uh, let them soak for a little bit, and then use a flat blade screwdriver to just sort of poke them out. And I'll try to show you that. So what I'm doing here is pushing the screwdriver through the back side of the exhaust hanger after I sprayed WD-40 on it and I'm basically just trying to pry the front of the exhaust hanger out of the rubber part um, and as you see I was successful and the exhaust dropped on me. Alright so exhaust is free from the car, uh, the hangers weren't too bad actually, um, these ones I kind of just sort of loosed them a touch and then pushed just really hard with my foot um, and it, it came off. Um, so yeah, we're just going to line them side by side just to check everything to the same spots such as, you know, like the hangers and whatever um, and yeah, get it installed into the car. Okay, so um, it's the next day now. Um, I went and got a haircut yesterday so um, we sort of cut the day short working on the car. But we're back out on the Lexus and we're about to connect this piece of pipe to the cat um, and plug the sensor back in. Um, I've put, I'm putting a gasket on it. It doesn't come with one, but I'm going to whack one on it anyway. So uh, yeah, we'll put that in, and then I'll uh, plug the O2 sensor and get it all bolted and tightened up. Right, and so uh, we've got the exhaust bolted up to the rest of the exhaust from the front. Um, we've got the rear of the back box uh, on the hangers now. I'll show you that in a sec. But we're basically going to bolt the uh, mid section to the rear section. Uh, this needs to sit in the middle of it. It comes with it. Um, and it basically just helps it seal a little bit easier. So we're gonna go under the car and get that in now. Um, little tip for the exhaust hangers, again, WD-40, um, just spray that on and they'll go in a lot easier and just use uh, a little bit of force. So uh, I'll show you what, what we're doing now. Here's the exhaust tip. So here I'm basically getting the rear section of the exhaust onto the rubber hangers and I'm putting that metal crush uh, gasket in between the two parts and then I'm going to bolt it back up um, with a nut and bolt. Right then, so um, we've got the exhaust in. 
Um, we put all the hangers on. They weren't too bad actually. Uh, as I said, WD-40. Um. Just a quick one. The Mini's fine. She was having a new time in chain tensioner, and now she's right as rain. And uh, a little bit of patience. The bolts, um, again, they're actually 14 mil bolts this time, so not too sure about that. But um, yeah, it's all on now. Um, let's uh, let's give it a go. Go on then. So the exhaust is done, um, obviously putting a clip in there what it sounds like, it sounds absolutely amazing, um, really happy with it, it wasn't too hard to install either, there was uh, very little to no rust, um, it didn't really fight us other than the rubber hangers but we kind of expected that. So yeah pretty happy with how it went and um, yeah it sounds amazing so um, I'll leave um, the Instagram for this car in the description and go check it out and give it a follow but um, thanks for watching the video give it a thumbs up if you found it useful or any somewhat interesting um, this car will be on the channel a lot more um, in the in the next coming months with mods and, and and I'm sure some repairs but thanks for watching the video give it a big thumbs up hit subscribe share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next one